welcome to Talk Fights. I'm Curtis Biggs. The common theory in boxing and in other fight sports is that a good big man will beat a good small man. Now you wouldn't usually refer to the light heavyweight champion of the world as a small man, but in the case of Bob Foster versus Muhammad Ali, Foster would give up 41 pounds to the former heavyweight champion. Some saw this as an obvious mismatch, while others saw it as a difficult test for Ali. Now Bob Foster was no joke. He was the current light heavyweight world champ, a belt he had won by brutally knocking out Dick Tiger in four rounds. He had a knockout win over 35 and old Mike Corey. And at the time of this bout, he had defended the light heavyweight crown 11 times. He was 33 years old and had a record of 49 wins with 5 losses, including 42 knockouts. Muhammad Ali is 30 years old at this point, with a record of 31 wins and only 1 loss. The only loss being to Joe Frazier 2 years earlier. Ali had never lost his title in the ring. He was stripped of his title when refusing induction into the military. He was also banned from boxing for three and a half years. Upon his return, he started working his way back towards a shot at a world championship. Supposedly, Foster and Ali had met for sparring while both in the amateurs, with Foster dropping Ali with a left hook. Supposedly. You can see the height difference at the stare down, although on paper they supposedly have the same reach. Ali, looking confident as usual, strides out and meets his opponent in the center of the ring. He's keeping his hands higher than normal, seemingly out of respect for Foster's punching power. Ali circles Foster, stinging him with jabs over and over again. Left hook, right hand. Jab cross. Foster is doing his best to match jabs with Ali, but is getting outworked through the first two rounds. Foster is trying to pick it up a bit at the beginning of the third round. He's throwing a number of jabs from the crouched position that he's had for the first two rounds. Ali stands in front of Foster and plays a bit, parrying a few of his punches and tapping him on the back of the head. Ali continues to play with Foster until the crowd, just wanting to see a fight, start to boo. Ali starts firing off combinations. Double hooks, straight rights, finishing the round strong. Foster is trying to be a little busier in the fourth round. He's exchanging jabs with Ali and doing okay. Then he lands a decent left hook that gets Ali's attention. Ali lands a hook of his own and then throws a jab, cross, hook, hook. Really a very nice combination. Let's have another look at that. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Sweet. Especially from a big man. They continue to trade jabs and crosses through to the end of the fourth round, with Ali getting the better of the exchanges. The fifth round starts at a faster pace, with both men throwing hard. It's difficult to tell in the video, but a cut has opened up under Ali's left eye. This is the first time he has ever been cut in a fight. As blood starts to trickle down, he fires off three left hooks, dropping Bob Foster. Very impressive. Foster, with the help of the ring ropes, climbs to his feet. The former world champion doesn't waste any time and gets right on him, hitting him with three fast hooks and a right hand. Then another jab cross. They stand toe to toe, throwing leather. Ali's hit with a big left hook, but seems unaffected. In between rounds, Ali's team works on the small cut underneath his eye. The seventh round starts off slow, with both fighters seeming to go back to feeling each other out with jabs and lazy rights. Then Ali fires off a long, straight right hand that catches Foster and knocks him down again. Foster is looking ripe for a finish, and Ali goes for it, attacking his opponent. Foster catches him with a couple decent straight punches coming in, and Ali feigns being hurt, 
pretending to stumble and wobble, but then returning fire. Then a hard, tight left hook puts the deputy sheriff down again. The beginning of the eighth round sees Ali advancing, and within moments lands a right hand and a short left hook that knocks Bob Foster off of his feet again. Despite a valiant effort, Foster is unable to get back to his feet before the count of ten, and suffers an eighth round KO at the hands of Muhammad Ali. Bob Foster would have three more fights and then retire as World Light Heavyweight Champion in 1974. He would return to the ring and have four more fights, winning two. He passed away on November 21st, 2015 at the age of 73. His bout with Ali showcased Ali's punching power and chin, but also Foster's heart and courage. A great bout between two great champions. See you at the fights. Oh, my singing power is sadness. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Oh, throwing gloves, dirty pool. <laughs>